Hey piggy people, so today's video I want to share with you how I store the guinea pig's food. So first off I want to share with you what we do with the piggy pellets. So I do buy Oxbow Garden Select pellets. So here I have an 8 pound bag and a 4 pound bag. I have a container that I use that I got off of Amazon that holds 12 and a half pounds. So these two bags fit in there perfectly. I get the bags from Zoe and Lilo's Toy Box, which is an online store here in Canada. So it's very quick to ship, or you can find them easily in store. If you can't, you can just ask any retailer that carries Oxbow to order it in for you, and it never seems to be a problem. So as you can see, fills up my container perfect, and it's an airtight sealing container made for pet food. And as I said, I found it on Amazon, and it works great. And I use my little measuring scoop to scoop out the pellets for the pigs. And I use the Rosewood Double Dish Naturals Ceramic Dishes. So next let's share about the vegetables. So here is radicchio. It is a type of lettuce. I prefer to use this over red or green leaf lettuce. So first thing I do is cut off the bottom and remove the outer layer of leaves because these ones are usually wilty, all banged up, and probably pretty gross from people touching them. So then it goes into my Fridge Smart container that I have about an inch of water in. And that's what I do with every radicchio. I usually buy about six at a time, and I find they last so much longer in the water, in the fridge, than normal leaf lettuce does. So I really like to buy these. Sometimes they're not available, but I have about three different grocery stores I kind of stock to try and find them. So I'm just cutting off the bottom of each of these, removing the yucky leaves, and placing them in the container. And as you'll see, this fits six really nice. I could probably even fit a couple more. So once it's all done, I put the lid on and I do store it in the refrigerator. And after a couple days, I will change the water in the bottom. Next are little grape tomatoes. So these are what I feed the guinea pigs first thing in the morning along with their other veggies. I just keep it in the container it comes in. It's perfect. You don't need to really do anything with tomatoes. They just stay on the counter. I read that you're not supposed to put them in the fridge. So next we have our bell peppers. I just keep these right in the fridge door. You can put them in the little drawer down below that's like the crisper, but I find they stay just as well just hanging out in the doorway of the fridge. So we get all different colors of peppers. I usually try to just pick whichever color looks the nicest so that it will hopefully last the longest. I usually get enough peppers to last a week, anything beyond that, and I find they kind of start to get gross. The last thing is our hay. So I purchase huge 50 pound boxes of hay from Oxbow. I get a Timothy and an orchard grass. I always have both of those open in the pig room. So I keep the hay directly in the box it comes in. I just have it all the way open and have the bag completely open so that there's lots of ventilation. So the most important thing for hay is keeping it in a cool, dry place. So I keep it right in the pig room and it's easy access and I use it up probably within a couple months, the two boxes. So thanks for watching guys. You can leave your comments down below and let me know how do you store your stuff. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!